PayPal, Tesla, and SpaceX. Is there anything Elon Musk can't do? Hi, welcome back to Terror Talk, the show that reads the internet so you don't have to. I'm Matt Slokowski. And I'm Travis Turcott. Today we're going to be talking about Tesla, specifically the Gigafactory set to open its doors this month, July 2016. The new Tesla battery factory will be affectionately called the Gigafactory as it will produce over 35 gigawatt hours of battery capacity a year. That's enough to power the city of Ottawa, Canada for two days. The factory will be devoted to producing batteries for its cars and power walls. At an estimated cost of $5 billion, it's going to be the largest battery factory in the world. This building originally planned to be 5.5 million square feet. To put that in perspective, that is 97 football fields, 47 soccer fields, and if you're Canadian, 323 hockey rinks. This is going to be the world's second largest building. The factory will be located in Sparks, just outside Reno, Nevada. Nevada was chosen because it offered Tesla $1.25 billion in tax credits. This includes no sales tax for Tesla for 20 years. During contract negotiations to help uh, Nevada win the, the contract over two other states, Nevada was already clearing the land to help sweeten the deal. The Gigafactory will be 100% self-sufficient off solar and wind. This is no coincidence that it's in one of the sunniest places in the US. This will help the roof of the solar factory that is made of solar panels produce over 200 gigawatt hours of electricity per year. With the new factory comes a new battery size. With this increased battery size, they're going to have a higher energy density per battery, creating a better overall battery. This is great because with the increased production of batteries by 2020, they're going to have a 30% reduction of the batteries, making overall costs of Tesla products cheaper. The factory will have over 6,000 full-time jobs and 15,000 indirect jobs for the state. That's around 3% of the state's GDP. This is the second big announcement from Tesla this year after their already successful pre-sales of the Model 3. Over 350,000 Model 3 cars have been pre-ordered, giving Tesla over $350 million. Tesla produced 50,000 cars last year and is set to produce 500,000 cars by the year 2020. These are ambitious plans from Elon Musk the CEO of both Tesla and SpaceX. His original plans for Tesla were to jumpstart the auto industry to move electric. With the GM and the Bolt, the Nissan and the Leaf, and the latest news from Volkswagen to move electric, it looks like te Tesla's plans are working. Thanks for watching. Any questions you have about the topic we discussed today, please put a question in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer it. As we're a new channel, please hit subscribe. It helps us grow and leave that thumbs up because we appreciate it a lot. We also have links to our social media that you can connect with us to on a personal level. I'm Travis Turcott. Thanks for watching.